Well, this is a rare treat. Often I am here at the studio, but I don't get to see this guy around a lot because he's in early in the morning. So our good company correspondent today is the one, the only, James Curtis. I cannot believe I'm actually here right now. <laughs> I this is know. the latest I've ever been. This is like, this is sleep time for me almost. How many uh, cups of coffee have you had? I only have one. Oh. Uh, one a day. That's it. Like an apple. Yeah. Uh, well, apples less than one a day. Yes. <laughs> coffee for me, yeah. Once um, I do the morning show and then after the morning show, there's a coffee and mm -hmm. then I kind of get settled into the rest of my work at the office and stuff. And, and that's about it. And then weekends, of course, I'll drink a little later, but I can't be drinking coffee even on a weekend. I don't want to be drinking coffee past one or two o'clock in the afternoon. You then don't sleep? Uh, it's not that. I think it's more of a mental thing. Okay. It's, it's I think I won't sleep. <laughs> so then you, know? you don't? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so, yeah, I try not to. I have had coffee later, and it didn't impact me at all negatively. So. Yeah, well, that's good. Yeah. Just in case. Just in case. It's right? a backup plan. Yeah. You know, you there know. You uh, but you're here because you've been working hard on Between the Grooves. It's been uh, crazy busy with Between yeah. the Grooves. Um, we've we've had lots of conversations. and We just wrapped up our, our summer series. We did a road trip like we've done in previous years. Yeah. And basically that's uh, going to a music festival and chatting with artists uh, either right before they go on stage or after they've come off stage mm -hmm. and just chatting about music, talking about their careers, talking about life. And uh, especially now over the last, uh, you know, changes over the last 12 months, given the global pandemic and whatnot. Yeah. So it's been some great conversations. And I just like the the whole um, ambiance of the sound. Like, yes. I'd, I'd like to be doing that all the time. Yeah, you, you are know? definitely a live sound guy. Yeah, like <laughs> for me, well, I mean... You know, I love doing the morning show, but if I could be doing the morning show somewhere else, mm -hmm. different every every day, yeah. that'd be kind of fun. Yeah. You know? I would especially love doing live locations in the morning at like a breakfast place. For sure. You know, a restaurant. All the hustle and bustle of the noise and the clinking of the glasses and the cutlery yes, and stuff. Absolutely. the smell of bacon and coffee. Yeah. That or a coffee shop. That's good too. Yeah. Because yeah. there's, always, there's always traffic. There's always people in and out. So yeah, that's that's what it was like with our road series. Um, it's one of my favorite things every year with Between the Grooves. Yeah. And then because of the road trip series, um, we still have our regular conversations that we have with artists and all of that's kind of been backed up. So now we've got a whole bunch of um, episodes ready to release with conversations that we've had over the summer mm -hmm. that weren't at summer festivals. And yeah. uh, some of them are some big names that people would recognize. Other are smaller artists and stuff, but uh, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. And Love having these conversations. Yeah. Any, uh, not spoiler alerts, but can you give us any hints? Anybody coming up that is big? Um, well, um, from a Toronto perspective, uh, a couple of them are going to be in Toronto very soon. So Ooh. how's that? Okay. Yeah. All right. So I don't want to, you know. Keeping it a secret, yeah, man. You're secret. good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not good at secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what, everybody? <laughs> yeah. So that's coming up. And then uh, and then some other artists, one's a new artist out of the States. Okay. Um, and then uh, I'm just trying to think. Sometimes you have these conversations with artists and you forget about it. Mm -hmm. Um so, oh yeah, so there's there's one artist we spoke to on Between the Grooves uh, a few years back, and he's come back to have a conversation. And, and the wild thing is, is he remembers the initial conversation. Oh, really? So he's another. He's probably a, a you know a top uh, ten type uh, guy. Okay. With music out, and he's got hits on the charts right now, and and whatnot. So yeah, that's Ooh, coming up all too. All right. So. so lots of fun things. Look forward to in Between the Grooves. Heading into the fall, uh, make sure you check it out wherever you get your podcasts. And you can also check it out at faithstrongtoday.com and joyradio.ca. But um, you had mentioned the idea of change and how there's been a lot of changes and you're talking to artists about that. But we are now heading into September. Today's September 1st already. Pumpkin Spice Everything is in stores and cafes. And a lot of us are talking about our kids or grandkids going back to school. And it's just a like big shift. All the fall kickoffs are happening. So for you, what are some of those changes you're looking forward to this fall? Well, it's kind of a sad time of year for me. Oh, why? Summer's my favorite season. Oh, and oh, so okay. with fall, it's like, like as soon as you start hearing pumpkin spice <laughs> or 
<laughs> leaves turning or even back to school. It's just like, yeah. I, I guess it's over. I mean, it's great to get in the, into the routine again. Yeah, but, I miss that. But the summer, you know, in the summertime, even if, if you're not on vacation, you kind of feel after work, it's like, oh, you know, it's bright and sunny for a few hours still. There's lots to do. Mm-hmm. You know, life continues. But now, you know, the days are going to start getting shorter. You've got winter coming, yes. you know, all that negative stuff. Um, as far as change is concerned, for me, I, I suppose my kids are a little older. I've got a 19-year-old daughter and a 22-year-old son. So my son's done school. My daughter's it's still in university. So for, for me or for us, um, she will, we won't see her as much. Oh, yeah. She lives at home, but she commutes. And so long hours at the university, so we don't see her as much. Uh, so that'll be different again. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, a little bit more free time for me, I suppose, because I'm wow. not, you know, worried about that as much. And so, yeah, it's, it's, um, that's the change for us is, is getting back into that routine. Mm-hmm. Does it get easier? I'm just, I'm asking from the, the perspective of an elementary school parent. And it's hard right now. Yeah, I think it gets easier because as your kids get older and they get more independent, they make more of the, the, the decisions versus relying on you to make decisions. So right. it's a great time when they're older and they can make decisions and also um, get your feedback. So, the, you know, they might have already made their decision or maybe they're toying with what they want to do, but then they want your feedback and, and you kind of give them based on your experience. And then mm-hmm. sometimes they, you know, you sway them a little bit. Sometimes they change their mind or sometimes they're, they're set on what they want to do. But it's nice to be in that position where, hey, you know, whatever you do, it's your decision. So mm-hmm. if you mess up, you messed up. But, you know, I told you what I thought about it. So Yeah, exactly. It seems like being a parent is the ongoing lesson of letting go. Yeah. And and the more you're willing to do that, mm-hmm. uh, the better it is. Because yeah. if you can't let go, like my wife will, will hold on to stuff. And sure, she, can't she let sounds go. like me. <laughs> yeah, so so it's it's different for her. For me, it's just like, oh, yeah, no problem, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. And so when my daughter asks my opinion or my wife's opinion on something, she doesn't usually like my wife's opinion because my wife doesn't want to let go. For me, it's yeah. like, oh, yeah, here's what I think. You know, whatever. She she said the other day she wants to, she said for this weekend, she wants to go down with her friends to Niagara and go across the border oh, for shopping or whatever else. Yeah. And, I, and I said, well, you know, from her mom, it was, oh, no, no, you, I don't want you to leave and go, you know, you don't know what your friends are like. You don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. You don't know what it's going to be like with security and going over the border and stuff. And I just said, you know, go for it. I think it's a stupid decision, but <laughs> no, it's a long weekend. Why would you want to go across oh, the border on the a long worst, weekend? The traffic. Yeah, the traffic. And then who knows how long it's going to take you to come back. Mm-hmm. Your decision, if you want to do it, go yeah. for it. But I think it's not the right decision. And she's ended up deciding she's not going to go. So there, there you, you go. go. Yeah. Given the facts and allowing them to make their own decisions. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm not ready for that change yet. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. James Curtis, yes, he is on the drive each and every morning on Joy Radio. Thank you for sticking around longer throughout your day. I'm so glad you had that late interview today because this has been great. We've not had a chance to do this face-to-face ever, I don't think. Well, in a long time. We have. Face-to-face? We did Zoom. Uh, I think we did face-to-face once a few years ago. I, okay. I think so. And then I probably grabbed a nap afterwards or something. Yeah. But yeah. See, yeah. my short-term memory is still hampered by lack of sleep. We're still in that phase. Right, right. <laughs> yes, I understand. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, thank you so much. This has been great. Again, make sure you have a listen to James Curtis on The Drive and, of course, him and Aisha Woods with their podcast, Between the Grooves. I had to do it like I was singing, you know, just because. <laughs>